Two hours later. So here's a quick little um, fish recipe that I do. Uh, starts off with bell peppers and red onions. I use the red onions because they have a less sugar content than um, the white and the Spanish onions. Um, this fish that I'm cooking here today is bafa, but if you buy it in a store like Publix or something like that, it's called Sway, and I'll put the name of it right here so you'll see the name of it. I've already seasoned one side of the fish, so I put it that seasoned side down in the fish, and this is just a little bit of uh, spray olive oil that I'm actually cooking it in. So yeah, put the fish in the pan, a hot pan, fish has to fry or saute in a hot pan. Then I'm sprinkling a little bit of kosher salt on top of it. I use kosher salt instead of iodized. Onion powder. Um, and remember, these are the seasonings that I have on the other side already. Uh, then I add a little garlic powder. I'm sure that's coming soon. Yeah, garlic powder. I don't know why I like to do it like this. Like have the seasoning on one side and then season the other side in the pan. But this is just my method. Then I add lemon pepper. I love lemon pepper on fish. Like lemony, peppery fish is right up my alley. So lemon pepper is the next ingredient that I put on here. And then I add the piece de resistance, which is the red pepper flakes. I like anything spicy and lemony. And with fish, um, this looks like a lot of seasoning, but I like seasoned fish because fish is one of those things that, you know, it has to be seasoned for it to taste good. And then last thing is a squeeze of actual fresh lemon, which helps bring out that um, lemon pepper that I put on there earlier. So there you go. That side is done once I'm done seasoning. So I flip it over. Yeah. Let it cook down. Try to move the bell peppers and onions to the top so they won't get too caramelized. And then, yeah, uh, I think I have a picture of the finished product coming up that I put together with a salad. There you go. I have some broccoli slaw on that salad, jalapeno, some honey mustard, and yeah. What well, going people? It is officially day 11, and it's super dark in my house because it is about to storm because that's what it does in the summer months in Atlanta. So here's the deal. I'm still out here, still doing this juicing, clean slash detox. And yeah, we're on day 11. Day 9 and 10 were a bit of a blur, but not in a bad way. They were um, actually a blur in a good way, and i just been busy. Remember those opportunities that I talked to you guys about in my last clip? Well... I've had to make good on those opportunities, like I said, and really use them and cash in on them to the fullest. So that's what I've been doing. I've actually been extremely busy because if you guys don't know, I work for myself and that is how I make my income. I am a freelance and sometimes I like to just leave it there because the first thing I do is that I'm a writer. That's what I do. That's my craft. That's what I believe I'm best at. That's what I believe my gifting is. But then on the flip side, I also do videography, photography, um, what else I do? Web design, graphic design, I do all that kind of stuff like that too. So I have been slammed, but in a good way. So yeah, I wanted to pop back in, let you guys know, day 11, I'm still juicing, but I have also incorporated things like fish as well as ground turkey to my diet, along with the leafy greens and the fruits and vegetables and my water. And yeah, I've been doing really good, like really, really good. And I know that this juice cleanse was purposeful because... My thinking is much clearer. Like I have been, I have literally been on point. I've had more energy than I've had in a long while. My stomach has gotten itself together as far as like digestive, digestive wise. And yeah, I just feel really amazing. It's Saturday now, so you know it's kind of Netflixish type, YouTubeish type of day. But yeah, um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, you guys, I'm also, um, I wanted to share with you guys that it's so funny because the saying, when the student is ready, the teachers will appear is so true. And like right before I started this whole juice fast, cleansing, detox 
about 11 days or exactly 11 days ago before that probably about a week or so before um I was in Barnes and Nobles of course just scouring the bookshelf like I do just you know anybody that troll the bookstore <laughs> you know how people say they're trolls online like I literally just go in the bookstore and just gaze at all the books I love that place so I was doing my usual trolling of the bookstore and I came across this book called Your Sacred Self by oh no is it William Dyer I'm going to put a picture right here so you guys can see right there. And this book has literally been giving me life and it's been going hand in hand with the principles that I am learning just within myself as well as through revelation as I'm going through this detox process. And one of the um, main, um, I don't want to say nuggets, but one of the main lessons that I'm really learning during this process with this book and also with this like physical slash spiritual cleaning and detox is that I can throw away my past storyline. Like, and it's actually best for you to do that so that you could live the life that you really want to live and that's really destined for you. And that's something that he talks about in this book that is amazing. And he breaks it down to the point where it's just like layman's terms, very practical language, and it's been revolutionary life changing. You guys, look out for the awesome things that I'm getting ready to put out into the universe because it is about to be amazing and I'm so excited. So you guys, again, just popping in. It's day 11. We still out cheer sun. We making it happen. And yeah, comment down below. Leave me some recipes that you like for juicing as well as any good fish recipes that you have. Comment down below because I don't want to get bored and I want to switch it up. Also, any... um exercise routines that you have that you like that you want to share with me comment down below as well because I'm also looking for some things that I could do I really want to learn how to swim swim like I know how to not drown but I really want to learn how to swim so I'm thinking I'm going to go that route in the very 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 near future like next week I'm gonna go down to this like uh not gym kind of like YMCA-ish place where they have um, different swimming lessons and like water aerobics and stuff like that. So yeah, you guys, keep me posted. Keep me lifted up in prayer that I continue for this 60 days. And yeah, we still out here, son. We still doing it. Ain't nobody ever quit. Ain't nobody not not doing it. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting so crunk with y'all because y'all are my peeps. But nah, for real, real talk. Ooh, that was a lightning strike. It's time to go. All right. Holla. Peace. Leaving the High Museum. Went out there because they had like a free community day. So yeah, I'm happy I went because earlier today wasn't a 